you got pants. Ain't all pink, is it? No. What you got going on? That's a baby bottle sterilizer. Like wow. Vintage. It's yeah. It's only $15. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Sure. Twenty-five bucks. I always pick up the most expensive things. Look that waffle iron there is. Antique. That is awesome. Yeah. My uh, husband's mother had that, so he grew up with it. Wow. Hinges? Anybody need hinges? We got hinges. We have. <laughs> I have to get the. Don't have a plug for it. Yeah, I'm trying to think the, if the, I do. The wire was the wire on the plug was not what I would. <laughs> sure, not. You don't want to plug it in. <laughs> you don't want to trust it, you know. But I'm sure. I'm sure that. that yeah. That someplace there's uh, there are plugs like that. I bet you could find one online. You do twenty bucks on it. You got twenty five. Five dollars mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. It's the first day. It is the first day. You know where it is. Yeah. Um, so I, nice. Mine's in better shape than hers. It's not quite as good a shape. Do you have the same one? No, it's not the same one. The same one. Mm. Okay, I'll do twice. Do 20 on it? Excellent. I'll give it to you now. It's just too cool to leave behind. I can get a plug for it and clean it up and it would look brand new. There you go. It better be real. I just got it out the bank. Yeah, well, okay. Because um, that was one of the things they were talking about last night on it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, this is hers. These things are so cool. I really like this one. Yeah. There's some Tiger Woods. These things are beat, but these things are usually worth some decent money. These other things are just dirty. Huh. That's pretty nice. Five bucks for that. That's pretty neat. Oh McGregor. Yeah, we actually need those for the grill. <laughs> yep. Working vintage fan, Emerson Jr. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is. We and it works. That's a how children amazing. had fingers. Phew, I tell you what. I, I just I just couldn't believe it, but, but it's true. But we've had it. <laughs> you, know, you know when you say don't do that and they do it? Oh yeah. It's like, well, they're, they're only gonna do it one, they're only gonna do it ten times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that it. is sharp. Yes. That is amazing. Yes. What is that? Are you trying to be sweet? Magic press? Good as you can. Yeah. You'd rather be doing what today? You're all right. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, that was just my knee. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so nice. Boom, that's what you want to see right there. Stop. Holy moly. Do I pay you? Yeah. Give Excellent. All, the money. all of it. You got any? Uh, I got some. Right. I think I might have six bucks. So that looks that'll, right. That'll Give work. It Give it to me. How much is your pot? 
you can have that one for three bucks. Three bucks? I'll take it for three. That is a lot of hats. It is. I don't know which that is. Oh, two dollars please on the head. Two dollars. If I buy a whole bunch, yeah, we'll, yeah. got it work. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. That's right. Expensive. Yeah. Eighty bucks. Hmm. Huh. That's expensive. Yeah, a lot of gun stuff. Is there any like uh, scopes or anything? I'm sure they're worth. Yeah, I got a. Uh, it's. It's eighteen dollars worth. You do fifteen, three dollars yeah. off. That'll work. I guarantee you this is worth money. This is a crock pot, right? Just give me the dollar back. Yeah. Nice. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool for. Uh, for like football. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty neat. Just make sure it's not. Uh, Ah, 45 bucks for this. Actually, the case itself goes for like 45. Let's see what's inside of it. Go mm. mm. over under. Mm. What is in that bad boy? Just a uh, that's cool. Twenty bucks. Both of these. Can you do any better for fifty? Absolutely. Um, will be your best because the only thing like this one and the little ones have the the tips broken off. Oh, the rest are pretty good. That is good to know. I didn't realize that. On um, both sets. Yeah. Uh, I could easily do like. 65 for both 65 for both yep um yeah we'll do 65 for both okay. that'll work we're happy to get rid of them. <laughs> CBS or whatever now yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe and yeah. Yeah. Real sharp, like you're coming up, you gotta oh oh yes like that's real Okay, and did you get those? Oh, and sorry, the wedges. Okay. Um, 15. 15? Yeah. Okay. Chloe, okay. so, do you have the... Yeah. Green. Oh, that'll work. I'll walk to that one. Okay. All right, we are back from our outing two at the 127. We have Willow, we have Kayla, and we have a whole bunch of stuff to go over. So let's go over the stuff that we got. I want to go through it fairly quickly. Uh, we did all right. Still prices were higher than usual, and we tried to get some good deals, and I think we did all right. So start over here, the McGregor. I like this because I got it. It has like a little spider web in there. It is a SB4 McGregor. Not a super great sell through rate but i got it for five dollars looks like it goes for about 25. i really like if i was a big football fan i'd probably keep this this is a crock pot and i was like this thing's got to go for at least 20 bucks and that's what it does if you stick to your guns it looks like you can get about 25 plus shipping a lot of people do this with 20 free shipping which really is not going to leave you a lot of meat on the bone there but even the insert on the inside is worth like 20 bucks. So we're going to go ahead and post it high, 25 plus shipping, and we paid only $4 for it. Cross pens are pretty good. Look out for the ones. I think there's ones that are actually sterling, and there's also ones that are gold filled. They're, they can go for like 100 bucks. These right here are just the regular, and I have a whole bunch, the regular cross pens and mechanical pencils. And they usually go for about 4 to $5 a piece. And I think we have eight of them, all in good condition. One is engraved, the rest are not. These are small mini zebra uh, pencils, really not worth a whole bunch, probably about a dollar a piece. And I'll lot these zebras up, these zebras up, and these two pens over there. But the cross pens, I will lot these up together and probably get about 20 to 30 bucks for them. I paid $6 for all those. 
these old school Letterman jacket. This one, they both said they were vintage. This one obviously is. It's the ones that you would definitely see on a Letterman jacket, varsity jacket. But this one doesn't seem, see how flimsy it is? I'm not seeing that this one is too terribly uh, vintage. But the this F right here goes for about 10 to 15 bucks. This one, I'll probably lot them together maybe. Uh, but just have to explain they're not the same because I thought they were the same in the bag This one definitely seems a little bit newer this right here the waffle iron that the lady She actually thought I gave her a fake 20 She was really looking that thing over and then she said I guess they had a meeting where people were giving fake money out So I totally understand waffle iron probably paid a little bit too much for it. paid $20 for it There are no really good sold comps. It's a little bit bad up there But my dad if he's watching I'm gonna probably give this to you and and hopefully you can clean that and shine that up for me because it has no dents in it. Super good condition other than that, just being a little bit dirty. I do not have a plug for it yet and I'm hoping that I have one back at the house. But it looks like these might go for about 40 to 50 bucks in really good condition. Then we got the Revere Wear Pot. Got it for $3. It's in decent condition. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Probably goes for about 15 to 20. This fan right here, bought it for myself. Uh, it wasn't even actually in the video. I paid $25 for it. I like old fans like this. This is actually gonna go out in the garage or maybe in my eBay room. And uh, it does work. It's really nice. It has a cast iron base on it. And this is an Emerson Junior. And uh, it's just an awesome little fan and I, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. But I think these do go for about 45 to 50 bucks. Also know that some of these are worth hundreds and hundreds for the old fans. Then we got a whole bunch of hats. Now uh, I paid $15 for all these hats and I'll go ahead and just go through them real quick. This one is pretty neat. This is an Alabama Nike. It's like a Nike, there's a number in it. A Nike 643. I think this one goes for about $15 in itself. Had to find that one on Worth Point. And then these, I actually can't find it. If anybody knows what that B stands for, please tell me. This is an older New Era hat, the Pro model. And I don't know what that B stands for. I've taken some Google lens shots of this and I just have no idea. But I'm thinking maybe $10 to $15 each on these. Uh, Drake Waterfowl hats. And these should go for 10 bucks. Then in here we got some like, and all these hats are in really good condition. A loop old hat here that's a scope for a gun. Um, this one actually goes pretty good, probably about 10 to 15 bucks. I sold a Geisley trigger hat one time for 30 bucks. So these are always good, especially with that rip stop type of material. And then we got a, I think this is a Matco. Yeah, Matco Tools. Yeah, right there, Matco Tools hat. Another Matco Tools hat. And then we got another Drake hat right here. And this goes for about, I think, also 10 bucks. And then this one's really neat. This is an older Smith & Wesson Performance Center hat with the camo. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that was obviously embroidered in on this camo hat. But I'm really thinking I can probably get about 10 bucks for that. And then these laser tag Nerf things. Really cool. Kayla and I are going to see if they work. They take six batteries a piece, though. So that's like what? $50 in batteries, but we only got these I think for like 10 bucks or something. They they usually go for about $30 and it's really neat. They're laser tag and you aim for that little thing up there and it'll tell you when you're hit. So definitely a cool little game there and you don't need like a vest or anything like that. You just buy another gun if you need another gun to do laser tagging with. But if you part these out, the part that actually is worth the most is that bottom piece right there for the batteries. That alone goes for $10 a piece or you can buy sell the whole gun for $10 a piece. So, all right, so these are Victor Knox. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. And there's the other name on it right there and they're numbered. Now I didn't really know this knife, but I know that uh, brand and they usually make very high quality knives. And these are in all really good condition. They wanted $50 a set for them, got them down to 65 and did pretty well with that. This alone, this one right here, and I have two of them. Look how good that one looks. That's like the knife sharpening tool or whatever. And this alone goes for about $20. And then also, this knife right here goes for 30 free shipping and it would go first class. It's very light. And so right there, that's another $20 bill. So in all in all, it looks like I'm probably going to have about $180 to $200 in knives. I don't know if I'm going to part them out. It looks like they sell actually better if you piece them out rather than selling them in the whole set. At the one yard sale, I bought these Sorrel boots. They're kids and they're in pretty good shape. These go online for about $20. So I got this really cool hat and the brand is the real deal and it's made from the tarp that they use on brazilian cargo trucks which is really cool 
and we found, we looked it up and we found one of the hats was actually worn by one of the guys in Zombie Land 2, which was pretty cool. Then I got this brown bag cookie art and it's brand new and it's Christmas edition and this goes for about $10. All right, so we had a question about our trailer yesterday and this is what it is. It's a little five by eight single axle trailer and uh, basically we just brought with us some tubs, uh, some bubble wrap, some paper, all of our gear up there, a spare tire and a little wagon, which we actually have not used. We thought we were gonna use the wagon a lot more. And we honestly thought we were gonna fill this thing up. Like I, you know, four days out here at the 127 and we really thought we were gonna fill it up. And to be honest with you, we've only filled up what, like one bin? Not even a one bin yet. And we have some more stuff we got today that we're gonna show tomorrow. So this is the setup right here. Uh, it's a brand new trailer. It's pretty nice, but we're not trailering this behind us. We're just taking the truck and then at the end of the day, we unload everything and put it in the trailer. So we got, like I said, we brought bubble wrap, paper, saran wrap, stuff just so stuff doesn't break in transit. We put tie downs and everything in there, but so far it's been really good, but we're not trailering this behind us. I don't know how people are trailing these things behind them on these yard sales. Everything is super, super crowded and tight and it would just be a headache. So I'm glad we dumped it here at the Airbnb and then we just take the Tahoe everywhere. So really not that bad. So for our second outing, I think we did pretty good. Mm -hmm. Still, I hope we will get a lot more because to be honest with you, we bought this to come up here and fill it up and we're not even close to filling it we're up. Going we're going to. We're going, going to. to. Hopefully, hopefully in the next couple of days we will fill this thing to the top and be super happy. So I do appreciate everybody watches and you know we will always catch you on the next one.